Welcome to the channel of Engineering Out of the Chaos. Today, in this video, I'm going to cover the difference between the if statement and the switch statement. Now, many people say that there's no difference between these two statements, but there's a huge difference. So, for making things very clear, I'm going to give you three major points that should help you out with this topic. First, being this one that in if statements, you can check multiple conditions at a time and in switch you can check one condition at a time so what do I mean by that here we have got an if statement okay in the if statement we in the brackets we have written condition that condition can be more than one so for example I can say that y is equals to zero and x is equals to one that being more than one condition so it would still execute it because if accepts multiple conditions at a time it will check for those conditions at a time so you can use your OR operators AND operators and all that operators in this IF statement you cannot use these operators in switch statement that is a very very important point another important point is that when number of conditions are more IF statement becomes very complicated switch remains easy as it is because it's very organized so what do I mean over here on the left you can see the if statement we write in the condition if the condition is true it will execute this part if it's false it will execute this part but imagine when there are multiple conditions right it will become extremely complicated because there will be many trues and many false on the other hand on the switch you have got a very organized system as you can see case 1 case 2 case n n number of cases can be there and if the case is true it will get executed if it's false it will go to the another case if you wish okay it's very organized and it's very simple to understand even if the conditions are more over here there's only one condition it's already being complicated so that's the difference between multiple conditions and the a single condition and last but not the least it provides the use of nesting if is has a very popular use of nesting now nesting is when multiple conditions are introduced in a particular sequence that means inside an if statement there's another if statement that is what nested means and switch uh, nobody uses switch nesting because it's not even that useful as if and it's not as popular as I say over here so these being one of the major differences between if and switch statements now if you are a student of engineering any any branch this should help you out even in the examination point of view so anyway this has been the channel of Dr. Chaos I hope you like this video rate comment and subscribe Thank you very much.